All right, what's up everybody? It's Tyler here from Second Glass, and this week we're doing wines from the Beaujolais region of France. So Beaujolais is a little misunderstood. First of all, it's a place you can go there. It's just south of Burgundy, just north of the Rhone Valley in France. Second of all, they pretty much just grow one grape. It's a red grape called Gamay. It's kind of like Pinot Noir, only it's fruitier and it's easier to grow, which makes it less expensive. So Beaujolais usually gets confused with Beaujolais Nouveau, which is actually kind of something completely different. We'll cover it. It comes out on the third Thursday in November. It's meant to celebrate the harvest. That is not what this is. This is real Beaujolais, which is made with 100% Gamay, and it's really great, I guess they call it like a bistro wine. And what exactly does bistro wine mean? It means that no matter what you're eating in a French bistro, this wine will go with it perfectly. Having salmon, Beaujolais. Eating steak frites, Beaujolais. Just having a salad and drinking your calories, Beaujolais. So the region of Beaujolais is broken down into a, a few different areas. If it says Beaujolais Village on the bottle, it means the grapes can come from anywhere in the region of Beaujolais, which really isn't even that large of a place. When you start getting more expensive stuff, think like 18 to 25 bucks, none of this stuff is terribly expensive. They come from specific regions within Beaujolais. There are 10 different crews, is what they're called. So you might hear people say, oh, this is Cru Beaujolais. That just means it's the nice stuff. The most famous are Brulee, Fleury, Morgan, uh, Moulin Avant, uh, Bru did I say Brulee? I said Brulee. It's a lot of French, basically. When you're talking about Beaujolais, you're gonna spit out large chunks of French. So don't worry about getting it right because unless you're French, you put your thought. So, you know, get close enough and it'll work. The reason we're doing Beaujolais this weekend is it's really great for fall. It's fruity, it's always dry, it's just like, it's really easy to drink. It's dramatically underpriced. You can usually get bottles for 15 to $25. The same kind of wine with these kind of flavors are gonna cost twice as much in other regions because they're not as famous. Beaujolais, rockin' value, there when you need it. So we have three different Beaujolais for you. If you can't find these ones, don't sweat it. Go to your local wine shop, ask them for a bottle of Beaujolais. Look for Beaujolais Village or one that comes from one of the crews. Those are gonna be your best bet. So the first wine we have for you guys is Jean-Marc Bogard Van de Toulon Beaujolais Village. <sighs> Luckily, it's a lot easier to drink than it is to say. This is your standard Beaujolais Village. If you like dry red wine, you will like this. If you like Pinot Noir, you will love this. And it comes in around 15 bucks. The next one we have for you guys is Couder Père Clos de Roulette Fleury. The wines from the Cru Fleury in Beaujolais tend to be a little bit softer. They tend to be a little bit more delicate, a little lighter, but they still have that fruitiness that you want. And again, it's a dry red wine, a little delicate. Maybe this is the one you have with salmon. Again, you can pair it with whatever you want. Can't do any wrong. This last one is the most difficult one for me to say, but it's also the most expensive. It's not terribly expensive. It comes in around $22. So this is like your Saturday night, maybe special occasion. Here we go. Domaine du Pavillon de Chavonnet, Côte de Brûlée, Cuvée de Ambassandades. That's close enough. Again, really great wine. It's light, it's fruity, dry, awesome with steak frites. It's French, man. You have it with French food. Have it with anything. I can sit here and list foods all day that this wine is perfect with, but what you should do is just go get a bottle of this stuff for the weekend, drink it with whatever you happen to be having and whoever happens to be over, get a bottle of Beaujolais this weekend and enjoy the fall.